I'm almost 30 and I'm still single. I moved to LA to pursue my passion. Um, unfortunately, that ended up in a restraining order. I instantly rebounded with somebody like two weeks later. We dated for six months before I learned he had a clown fetish. And I was like, oh shit, my dad's right. I do wear too much makeup. There is this one guy though. I can't stop thinking about him. Me and Dante have been best friends for about five years and I think that friendship is the best way to start any relationship. What is it about Dante that I love? Where do I start? I mean, he's the perfect combination of sexy and sweet. I feel so protected when I'm around him. And you would never guess, but he's super fit. Oh God, that was like eight yards. Hit you up later, Mel. He's the peanut butter to my jelly. And he does the nicest things for me. Hey, Mel. Huh? It smells like sushi. You're welcome. He has a pet name for me. Big Ed, you go ahead and pass me that remote. He took me somewhere super exotic for my birthday. Well, it was an adventure to say the least. I got a little jealous, so I'm glad it was brief. Oh, I thought I could swap my credit card there. How do I feel about girls on Dante? I don't sweat it. We're not together. Yet. And he is such a gentleman. <laughs> he doesn't even try to sleep with me. You blocking the game! I've always imagined the guy that I end up with is amazing with dogs, and he treats my cannoli so good. Where do I see me and Dante seven years from now? Wow, um, I really haven't given it that much thought. If I had to say married, kids, house, white picket fence, and cannoli, of course, but wishful thinking. Hold on, Dante's calling me. Hello? Yes. Oh yeah, you can you can have sex in my bed, sure. It's fine. Okay, see you later. Bye. <laughs> He's so funny.